In this video, I'm going to give you three different examples of things that you can say to a beautiful woman that make her feel attracted to you, that make you stand out from other guys and make her think, okay, wow, this guy is different and feel attracted to you, want to interact with you. Now, before I give you the examples of what to say, I've got to give you the background on what it's like to be a beautiful woman so you can understand why the things that I'm going to give you to say will actually make her feel attracted to you. Right, so you can understand that first because otherwise it's just a bunch of words and it doesn't really make much sense. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is just get you to think about what it's like to be a beautiful woman. Right, she's walking through the world and everywhere she goes, people look at her. When she's walking along, guys stop and stare. You know, like if a guy's walking along the street, people aren't going, Ooh, oh, wow, look at this, oh, look at this guy, you know, and they're not all stopping and staring at the guy. But if a beautiful woman is walking down the street, heads are turning. You know, guys are stopping to stare, uh, guys are trying to smile at her, trying to catch eye contact, uh, sleazy guys are calling out to her, hey baby, what's going on? She's getting all sorts of attention, uh, she's getting all sorts of smiles, and if she interacts with a guy, most of the time she's going to interact with a guy who puts on the nice guy persona and he's going to be really nice to her and he's going to give her a special treatment and try to treat her extra well. So hopefully he can impress her and get her to like him. The life of a beautiful woman is different. Right, her beauty separates her from other normal looking human beings. And the more beautiful a woman is, the more difficult it is for most people to relate to her and interact with her in a normal way. When a guy starts interacting with a beautiful woman who's done herself up with makeup, has a sexy body, and is giving off that certain attitude of, I'm too good for you, he can feel it. And she knows that he can feel it because if he's like most of the guys that she meets, he suddenly starts to feel unsure of himself. He looks nervous, he looks tense, and he doesn't behave like his normal natural self. She senses that he is unsure of himself and he's putting on a bit of an act, he's trying to impress her, he doesn't really know what to do in the presence of this beautiful goddess, this beautiful woman. She knows how much power her beauty has over him and she doesn't like it. She doesn't like it when she keeps experiencing that with guys. Right? It's the same thing day in, day out. So what a lot of beautiful women experience is that Guys either don't approach them at all, or they just stare at them, call out to them on the street, or nice guys will treat them extra special and nice and be romantic and sweet and hope that if they're just nice enough, she might give them a chance. A beautiful woman also encounters the sleazy guys or the guys that are just being a dick, saying, you know, give me a number and all that sort of stuff. Hey, you got a boyfriend? So she's not really getting the experience that she's looking for. What she's hoping for is that a guy is actually going to flirt with her and hit on her properly. She's hoping that a guy is going to make her feel attracted in many different ways, but since most guys don't know how to do that, she's just not getting that experience. A classic example of this is the interview with Bar Raffaelli, where she had won the number one Maxim Beautiful Woman Award, and she was voted the hottest woman. And she says in the interview, which I'll post below the video, so you can have a look at it yourself, that guys don't even hit on her. And then she gives an example of one time that she was approached and a guy tried to get something going with her and he just started speaking out his number, you know, zero, nine, blah, 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 whatever his number was. And then she's looking at him going, well, what's going on here? And he's like, you want my number, don't you? And he's just being a, a dick, you know, he's thinking, well, I'm just going to go up and say something really uh, arrogant and tell her to take my number. You know, so that's the sort of treatment that she's getting. And she wasn't taken, she wasn't in a relationship, but she said to him, that she's taken and she said thanks and he went away. So what most beautiful women experience are either guys who are too nice around them, who are nervous around them, tense around them, putting on an act around them, can't be natural around them, being sleazy, being a dick, or just not approaching them at all. It's the same thing over and over and over again. And what they're hoping to experience is to meet a guy who is not intimidated by them, but you know he's not gonna put them down and be a dick about it. He's not gonna be an asshole about it. He's gonna do it in a loving, cool, easy going way, right? There's a lot of crap advice on the internet that you'll find where they'll tell you with beautiful women, you've gotta say negative things to them, bring them down and uh, you know, attack their self-esteem and then you might be able to get a chance with them, right? But that's really bad advice because you don't need to do that and it's not a loving thing to do, it's not a cool thing to do. And really, if you're like most of the guys who are trying to learn how to be successful with women, you're a good guy. And you don't want to be a dick. You don't want to be an asshole. You just want to be a cool, good, loving guy and hook up with a beautiful woman or many beautiful women, you know, whatever it is for you. 
All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give you three examples of things that you can say to different types of beautiful women in a loving way that shows her that you're not intimidated by her. So the three examples are a beautiful stripper, a beautiful model, a beautiful actress. So the thing is, if you're in a strip club, the women in there, they'll usually be more friendly than the average beautiful woman. And they'll come and sit down with guys and they're hoping that the guy will then pay for a dance, uh, buy her a drink, uh, those sorts of things. So she's gonna be presenting herself in a fairly friendly, easygoing way. All right, but most guys don't make those beautiful women feel attracted to them because they're the same type of guy again and again and again. What she gets is guys bragging about how much money they make or they're gonna make, trying to impress her by saying they'll take her on a holiday, they'll buy her gifts, uh, asking if she's got a boyfriend. It's the same thing over and over and over again. And guys just blend into one big same mass of compliments and requests for dates and uh, inquiries about whether she has a boyfriend. So what you can say instead is this, right? You're sitting down with her and you ask her if she's gonna buy you a drink, right? So you're sitting down with her, you're like, yes, yeah, all right, so when are you gonna get me a drink? You know, and she's most likely gonna say, no, 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 you gotta get me a drink or she's gonna laugh about it. Uh, and she's gonna say, you know, don't you know the way it works? You gotta get the girl a drink, blah, blah, blah. All right, so you say to her, yeah, so when are you gonna get me a drink? Oh no, you gotta get me a drink. Oh, you didn't get the memo? Management changed the rules here. You know, now when a cool, handsome guy sits down, you gotta get him a drink. So uh, I'll get a sand book on the rocks. What's going on is that you're showing her that you're not intimidated by her. All right, you're showing her that her beauty doesn't make you feel like, oh, oh wow, I've gotta to try to impress this girl and hopefully get a chance with her. And you're not saying and doing what pretty much every other guy that she meets says and does. You're just this cool, easygoing, loving guy that you know, isn't afraid of her. And that's really refreshing and enjoyable and attractive. How will saying something like that make her feel attracted to you? One, you're using humor to make her laugh, which is very attractive to women. Women love to be with a guy who can make them laugh. Number two, you're displaying confidence, which is very attractive to women. Women want to be with a guy who's emotionally strong and confidence is a big part of that. If you look at the dictionary definition of attraction, you will see that attraction is a quality or feature of someone that evokes interest, liking or desire. So what's happening is that you're presenting qualities and features about yourself that will evoke that interest, liking and desire. Confidence and humor are not the only qualities that you can present to her that are gonna make her feel attracted to you. I teach more than 100 different ways that you can make a woman feel attracted to you. Most guys are stuck on the whole looks thing and if they don't feel that they're good looking enough, they assume that they can't get a beautiful woman. But that's not true at all. The more ways that you can attract her with your personality, the more attractive you are to her. Most of the guys that a beautiful woman interacts with won't know how to make her feel attracted in many different ways. They're thinking that it's all just about looks and bragging about how much money they might be able to make or showing her their big muscles and things like that. Yet the reality is that a woman can be attracted to a man for so many other different reasons. Most men are willing to have sex with a woman right away simply based on her appearance. She looks good, therefore I wanna have sex with her. However, with a woman's attraction to a man, it needs to be built up. Some women will see a very good looking guy and be willing to have sex with him very quickly, but if they interact with the guy and he turns them off in many different ways with his conversation style, his lack of confidence, etc., they can and will lose interest most of the time. The reason why average looking guys can pick up beautiful women, have a beautiful wife, or have a beautiful girlfriend is that women can be attracted in many different ways. You can build up a woman's attraction for you by displaying many different personality traits and behaviors that naturally attract women. Some women require a much higher level of attraction before they are willing to kiss you, go on a date with you and have sex with you, or have a relationship with you. However, many women, including beautiful women, will hook up with a guy simply based on light or fairly strong attraction. Strippers are usually the type of woman that require a higher level of attraction. So if a guy doesn't know how to attract women in many different ways, then he's probably not gonna be able to pick the stripper up. However, he will be able to make her feel some level of attraction for him. It's important for you to realize that because as a man, you need to realize that you can make women feel attracted to you in so many different ways. When you have that realization, you stop being so concerned about your looks and start focusing on attracting women in different ways. And the next example is with a beautiful model. So say for example, you're talking to a woman and she says that she works as a model. 
what most guys will do, they'll say, oh, wow, okay, oh, yeah, you're very beautiful, or, oh, where do you work? What, what agency are you working with? All oh, right, okay. And they'll say the same sort of thing over and over again. Uh, you know, and prior to that, they would have already been showing her how amazed they are at her beauty and hoping to get a chance with her and not being their normal, natural self. So what you can do instead is show her that you're not intimidated by her, but do it in a loving way. Do it in a cool, easygoing way where you're not being an asshole, you're not being a dick, you're just being a cool, easygoing guy. So she says that she works as a model, right? And you say, yeah, actually, you know what? Before I came over to talk to you, I was like, check out the hands on that girl. You're, you're a hand model, right? No, 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 I'm not a hand model. Oh, well, you've got great feet though. You, you gotta be a foot model, right? I mean, those are great feet. You know, and then by that point, she's gonna be laughing and she's gonna be telling you, no, 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 I'm a, a, like a magazine model, or I'm a fashion model or whatever. But you've shown her that you're not intimidated by her. You've shown her that you're not afraid to take a risk and say something a bit funny that other guys are worried might offend her, right? You're just being a cool, easygoing guy and you're not doing it in a mean, negative way, right? You're doing it in a loving way. You're doing it in a cool, easygoing way. So once again, how will saying something like that make her feel attracted to you? You're using humor and you're displaying confidence, both of which are very attractive to women. Displaying confidence and using humor is not the only way that you can attract a woman with your personality, but it's a start, it gets that attraction going. It evokes feelings of interest, liking, and desire. All right, and the next example is a beautiful actress. So say for example, you meet a beautiful woman and she says that she works as an actress. Again, most guys are gonna be wowing and saying what movie you've been in or whatever. All right, so you can show her that you're not intimidated by her and you can do that in a loving way by saying something like, yeah, you know what, I think I saw you in that, uh, and then say whatever big supermarket chain or big grocery chain brand is in your country, right? So say, for example, you're in America, you might say Walmart, you know, Australia, for example, you might say Coles or Woolworths, et cetera, et cetera, right? So you say to her, yeah, you know what, I think I saw you in that Coles commercial. You're that grocery girl, right? You're the, the checkout girl that's smiling and singing the song, right? That's you, right? And then you're playing with it, you're having a joke, and she's gonna laugh and say, no, 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 I'm in movies and whatever. You know, a lot of guys don't realize that they can attract women in so many different ways. You know, like when it comes to a beautiful woman, most guys, including myself before, this is how I used to think when I couldn't get a girlfriend, I couldn't get beautiful women attracted to me. You know, most guys think that to get a beautiful woman, you've gotta be a really handsome man. You gotta to be tall, you gotta have big muscles, you gotta have, have a lot of money, you gotta have an expensive car, you gotta live in a beautiful house, you gotta be able to take her around the world all that sort of stuff, right? But that's actually not the case at all. Yes, those things can attract women. There's no doubt about that at all. But you can still pick those women up without having any of those sorts of things, right? You can still pick women up based on the woman's attraction for you and you can make her feel attracted to you in so many different ways. A lot of guys don't actually understand what attraction is. A lot of guys think that a woman's attraction for a man is just looks and that's it. That's all they can really think. There are so many things about you, so many qualities that you can present to her that are gonna evoke that feeling of interest, liking, and desire. And there are so many things that you can do and say around women that make them feel sexual desire. There are specific ways that you can talk to a woman that make her feel sexual desire. There are specific ways that you can use your body language. There are specific ways that you can respond to the way that she tests a guy during an interaction in a way that makes her feel attracted to you, right? That is real, right? And if you think about the example of Bar Raffaelli, the model who doesn't even get hit on, she's hoping that a guy is gonna hit on her, flirt with her, make her feel attracted in many different ways, and then guide her to kissing and sex in a relationship. So then she can experience love. She can experience the happiness and joy that comes with a loving, passionate relationship. Now, that said, not all beautiful women can't get a date and aren't being hit on, right? But what you need to understand is that pretty much all beautiful women get hit on in the wrong way. Most guys don't know how to make women feel attracted to them in many different ways. And most of the guys that a beautiful woman has to hook up with, she does because it's like, oh, well, she can't get anything else. You know, she's got all these guys trying to get a, a date with her, taking her out and things, and she's not really feeling that much attraction. Most beautiful women don't get to meet a guy that makes her feel really intense attraction very often, right? It might be one time every few months or once a year that she comes across a guy that really knows how to turn her on emotionally and mentally, 
right? Not just the physical, well, okay, he looks good, but he doesn't turn her on emotionally and mentally. He doesn't know how to do that, right? It's very rare that a woman will come across a guy like that. And what I hope that you can understand is that there is an opportunity for you, right? Most of the guys that an attractive woman meets don't know how to interact with her in a way that makes her feel turned on. They just don't know how to do it. Most guys are in a state of shock when they see a beautiful woman. You know, she's walking along and they're like, oh, well, they meet her and, and it's like, oh, okay, I've got to try to get a chance with this girl. They don't even know that that type of reaction turns the woman off. And she's hoping to get a completely different reaction from a guy. I've given you a few different examples of what to say, but that is just a glimpse of what you can do to make women feel attracted to you. There are more than a hundred ways that I teach to make women feel attracted to you. When you are the guy that is making a woman feel attracted to you in five, 10, 15, 20 different ways, then you're the guy that she's excited to be interacting with. You're the guy that she wants to kiss. You're the guy that she wants to go home and have sex with. The guys that you see posting up success stories on my site, those are the guys that are using five, 10, 15, 20 different attraction techniques on a woman that they meet. And then the woman is theirs right, because she's feeling so much attraction. There are more attraction techniques that they can use, but they're only using that much and they're still getting the result. Why? Because most guys don't even know about the attraction techniques and they're doing things, they're doing five, 10, 15 things that are turning the woman off. The reason why it's possible to attract a beautiful woman is that a woman's attraction for a man is not limited to looks, height, money, and social status. Some beautiful women will only ever hook up with a guy who is very good looking like a model or is very tall, muscular, has loads of money and loads of power in society. However, most women have what I call an open type, meaning that they're open to being with all different types of guys as long as the guy makes her feel attracted in many different ways other than looks, height, money, social status, and power. This is the very specific and real reason why you see guys that you would consider to be ugly, guys that you think that you look better than, that you're better than in many different ways with beautiful women. Attraction isn't limited to what most people think it is. While we men select women mostly based on the woman's appearance, women are more open in the way that they feel attracted to men. Most guys don't know this fact of attraction. As a result of that, they feel insecure and unworthy around beautiful women, not even knowing that there are many different ways that they can make the beautiful woman feel attracted to them. You know, the guy might be a good looking guy, he might have a good job, and he starts interacting with a girl, and she seems interested because he looks good, but then she loses interest and he's thinking, oh man, what's going on here, why can't I get a girl, right? And then another guy is going through life thinking, well, I can't get attractive women because I'm not good looking enough, I'm ugly. Right? But then he sees these ugly guys with beautiful women and he sees these guys he, he thinks he looks better than with beautiful women. And most guys, they just can't connect the dots and they don't realize that there are other ways to attract women. They don't realize that when you interact with a woman, that's when the real magic happens. That's when the real analysis happens. That's when the real decision is made. When you interact with a woman, how do you make her feel? Is your conversation style making her feel sexually turned on? Or is it just making her feel normal, friendly type of emotions? Is your body language subtly turning her off? Or is it turning her on? How about the way that you're presenting your personality? Is that turning her off or is it turning her on? Most guys just don't know how to do it. But when you know how to do it, then you're the guy who can access these beautiful women. Just because pretty much every guy wants to have sex with a beautiful woman and she has loads of options, it doesn't mean that she's happy about the options. Some beautiful women are lucky, they meet a great guy and they're very happy, but there are so many beautiful women who don't meet the right guy for them and who are going through life being swooned over, having nice guys treat them extra well, having sleazy guys call out to them on the street, and maybe even dating guys and being in relationships with guys who look physically good looking, but don't have the skills to make her feel emotionally fulfilled. Some beautiful women won't settle for anything less than a very good looking, tall, muscular, rich man with loads of power in society, but it really is true that many beautiful women have what I call an open type. And that is why you see beautiful women with all sorts of guys. You see beautiful women with the sorts of guys that others may look at as being ugly or unattractive 
or undeserving of a woman like that. But to her, she's happy, she's fulfilled, because he's making her feel attracted in so many different ways, and he's making her feel how she really wants to feel with a guy. So the question I have for you is this. Are you gonna be the guy that stands out in a beautiful woman's mind? Are you gonna be the guy that makes her feel like, wow, this is different, I'm interested. You know, it evokes that feeling of interest, liking, and desire. You get that attraction going. Are you gonna be that guy? Or are you gonna be like the thousands of other guys that she keeps meeting that are doing the same thing over and over and over again? They're making the same mistakes, they're saying the same sort of things to her, and she just feels very bored by that, right? you have the opportunity to be the guy that makes her feel attracted. It's actually very easy to do. Guys are always posting up success stories, talking about how surprised they are at how easy it is to attract beautiful women, right? But prior to doing it, a lot of guys are thinking, no, 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 you can't, you can't, you can't. It's all about looks, you can't do it, you can't do it, but you actually can. That's the really cool thing. So if you're interested in learning how to make beautiful women feel attracted to you, then I welcome you to try my book, The Flow. The flow includes loads of tested, proven to work examples of what to say and do to make women feel attracted to you in many different ways. Attracting women is so simple when you know what you're doing. It's one of the easiest things to do in life. However, if you don't know what you're doing and you're making loads of mistakes while you're interacting with women, attracting women is a very difficult, confusing and frustrating experience. If you wanna stop standing on the sidelines and just staring at beautiful women, and you'd rather start having sex and being in love with a beautiful woman or beautiful women, then I welcome you to try my proven techniques. All right, I welcome you to try my book, The Flow. What you'll find when you start using the techniques from The Flow is that women feel attracted to you in so many different ways. And the more of my techniques that you use in combination, the more attraction that women feel for you. All right, so you can make beautiful women who other guys see as being out of reach and untouchable you can make those women feel excited and delighted and eager to be with you. You know, smiling ear to ear, giggling, touching up on you, hugging you, wanting to hook up with you. You know, you can make women feel that way. That is really true, it's actual, it's real. You know, you can actually do it, but most guys don't know how to do it. And I hope that if you're interested in learning that you give my book, The Flow, a try, and you start using the techniques, because when you do, you'll see that it works, and I just hope that you come back and are one of the generous ones that post up a success story. You know, if you wanna see what other guys are experiencing by using my techniques, go and read the success stories page and you'll see guys are experiencing things that other guys think are impossible.